Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and Quixel's Bridge is here. Bridge 2020 is now here and this is a really important release for a couple of reasons. First off, this is the first release after being bought by uh, Epic Games, first full release anyways, and now you can directly log in using your Epic's account and get access to 10,000 plus assets from the Mega Scans archive and they're all interfaced via Bridge. Now, Bridge is kind of a cool piece of software. It is a way of organizing all of your uh, textures, your mega scans, content, things you've purchased from Quixel, and stuff you have locally on your machine, and bridging it to your content creation application of choice. So what you see in front of you, this is Quixel Bridge. We'll come back and look at it in just a second. We're going to see this is one of the assets in Bridge. It's a completely configured barrel, kind of thing you might use stock in your game at any point in time. And then what I have actually done is I have exported this guy to a couple of different areas. So you come in here, you do an export, I'll show you the setup process and all that in just a second. But here we see there's the barrel in Quixel Bridge downloaded from the Megascans library. Here is the same barrel in Unreal Engine. And here is the same barrel in Blender. So other than slight differences in the lighting setup for each scene, exactly the same thing between each and Bridge facilitated it. It is what caused it come to come from Megascans down to my local machine and out to my content creation tool of choice. So that is in a nutshell what Bridge is all about. It's bridging between your content and your content um, creation applications in your game engines. So here you can see this is Bridge. This is once again owned by Epic Games now and it is completely free and you get access to the entire 11,501 asset library also completely free if you're using Unreal Engine. But the cool thing is Bridge now, Quixel Bridge is completely free for everybody, Unreal Engine or not. So if you just want to use this thing to organize your own textures and content, you can do so and it is completely free now as of 2020. So you come in here, you can search for whatever you want. So say I want, um, I don't know, plants. Come up here, type in plants. We pick up, we get the results here. And then we can filter down to green. And we can just have green plants now. And it will show us just the green plants. And, and it just kind of keeps going and going. And then you pick something you like. So you got an asset here. You like this look of this texture. You go ahead and collect it. Uh, click the little download link. And I've logged in with my uh, Unreal Engine account. So I can, I can literally grab any of the content that is here. It will be moved over into my purchased category, but once it's downloaded, I can actually export it directly from here. Uh, and then once it is here, you'll see in your purchased, it is there. Also, you'll notice you can also go in, I don't know where it found these, so I've got no idea what files they are, so I'm not gonna click there, but it'll also organize your local content as well. So even if you are not using Megastan stuff, Quixel Bridge is still very useful, and once again, very free. So you've got your assets here. Here are the couple things I've purchased, my barrel and this texture atlas now. I can now send these over to my content creation tool of choice. In order to do this, there is a bit of a setup process. And unfortunately, the documentation is kind of crap. So I'm going to show you how to set it up so that this works with uh, Unreal Engine and so that this works with Blender. So first thing you do is grab the asset you want to export and basically click export. Now what that'll do is with whatever tool you have currently selected when you first install it, It'll tell you, hey, what, what tool are you using? And you can choose between a ton of different things. Unreal Engine, 3D Studios Max Maya, Unity, yeah, Unity, even though Unreal Engine owns them, there is a Unity plugin, Houdini, Cinema 4D, Clarice, and Marmoset. So what I've done, it says it said Blender, and then what it also says is, okay, what's the home path for um, Bridge? And, and you you set that as well. You got control over what port it can use. Also, it will by default share app usage data anonymously. So you probably want to select that and turn that off if you value your privacy. And then, so I have it set up that to go and use Blender. So the first time you click export, it will basically go ahead and download the Blender plugin for you. So now what you need to do is locate that plugin. That plugin is actually available. If you go to documents, mega scans library under support, you're going to find plugins. And you see here, I've got the Blender one and I've got the Unreal one. So first we're going to do Blender version 2.7. I'm using 2.81. It doesn't make a difference. And this MS Live link. So you want know MS Live link right here. You want to grab that zip file. You're going to get this directory. And then what you do is you head on over to Blender. You go into Edit. So, eh, Preferences. And then you're going to want to go into the Add-ons folder and say install. And then when you install, you go and find that zip file and it will add this guy right here, the import export mega scans plugin, like so. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, I'll delete this asset out of the world so you can see this in process. So then when you're ready to go ahead and import stuff from um, Bridge over, you basically just go file, 
import. If that plugin installed right, you're going to see Megascans plugin. Click that guy once. It is now ready to go. Head on back over to Bridge and click export. The cool thing is if you go to export settings, you've got a ton of controls. You can say what resolution you want the textures to come as, what uh, format, what uh, mesh format, LOD levels, and so on. And so I'm saying export out to Blender, and then I'll just do an export, and it's, you'll see it says up here, exporting to Blender. Uh, if you get any errors, it means that either you didn't do that file import uh, process, or for some reason your plugin did not install correctly. Uh, the other thing to check is that your um, project directory is actually configured correctly. Um, it's available here. That guy makes sure that that is set up right, so that's where it downloads the documents to. So it should have exported it by now. Head back over here, and boom, and there it is. And it will create it about the origin. And you do have a lot of control over how things are, uh, how they are named, how they are exported, what file formats to use, and so on. But you see, the end results are pretty much picture perfect. Now you may be wondering, okay, now what is the process from the Unreal Engine side? And I'm actually kind of shocked since uh, Unreal owns the whole kebab that they didn't actually make this easier because this is a bit of a pain in the butt. So here you can see I have a project uh, enabled. If we come down here and go to the edit plugins, you'll see the Megascans uh, is in there and installed. Uh, so you're going to want to confirm that at some point in time. But in order to install it, you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to uh, shut down uh, Unreal Engine first, unfortunately, to do this. And then what you are doing is, once again, you are going back to this Megascans directory, to the support plugins folder. You're gonna find Unreal, and then this is gonna be heavily dependent on what version you have. So go in. Most likely, you have the latest. So go to latest. Pick your platform of choice. By the way, Bridge runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows natively, and it supports those versions uh, on other platforms as well or other tools. We'll go to Windows. I have 4.24 installed, so I'm going to go in here. And then basically, you just go ahead and copy this folder. Now, once you've got that folder, you basically go to wherever you installed um, Unreal Engine. So here, it's in my Unreal Engine folder right here. Unreal Engine 4.24, Engine, Plugins. And then you just paste that folder in here. So now when you fire up uh, Unreal Engine for the next time, it will automatically detect that plugin and load it. Now you're gonna know it works based off the fact that you have this mega scans uh, folder going on here. So then you're ready to export. Let's head on back over here. And what you're gonna wanna do is say export settings. In this case, you're gonna wanna switch back over to um, Unreal Engine. There we go, so it's at the top. You can pick your version, and then this is a part that they don't really say in the documentation. You're going to want to set your installation folder to where your Megascans library is, and then you're going to want to set your project location to the current project you are working on. So in this particular case, I, I go into, um, where, where are they? I think it's documents, uh, Unreal Engine, or something along those lines. Where are you? All right. Unreal Projects, yeah, that's it. And I'm using Bridge Demo. Just pick that, select that folder, and then now when you click Export, again, all the settings are available here, and it will push it out. But you do need to make sure you set your project location or it's going to fail, and you're gonna wanna make sure that your installation folder is configured, uh, because oddly enough, when you pick Unreal Engine, it, by default, it, it wasn't configured. Now, I actually, I think I picked Blender when I first did the initial installation, so maybe that's what the, the difference is. And it's kind of annoying that this changes each time you, you switch to a different tool. So the, the seamlessness of going from Blender to Unreal to Blender to Unreal, it's a little clunky, but you get used to it really quickly. Uh, we've also got a couple more settings here. This is like at a global level, how to handle all the various different things. You've got, again, a ton of different controls. Uh, we've got some advanced settings for the naming conventions for how things are actually going to be exported. And we've got control over how uh, vegetation, atlases, so on, all these various different pieces, brushes, et cetera, are configured and exported out. So you have a ton of control in Quixel uh, Bridge. We also got over here, we've got the collections. There you go. So you've got broken down into, uh, you know, a named collection. So if you're working in an urban landscape or whatever, it's broken into urban and then you can kind of navigate through it that way. Or once again, you can just basically come on back to the home screen. And um, this is really all of these things are just controlling your filters here. So, you know, if you're looking for uh, steel, you come up here, you search for steel. And, and this is again, a gigantic collection of really high quality assets and textures and so on. Or the other one that you may find yourself wanting to do is ignoring the texture stuff completely and going in here to buy uh, categories. So here I'm just gonna go straight into the 3D assets and we can navigate 
that way. So we can go into different categories and so on. Assets are fairly new uh, to Quixel's Mega Scans library. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how many more we get added over time because there isn't a ton of them. But what is there? It, it's so easy to use because of this setup. And then once again, when you're done, like here, here we go Unreal Engine. Blender and the only real difference we've got going on between that and the original source up here is the lighting setup So it, it's a really cool bridge and It's well named in that way between your various different asset tools and your library So you can kind of think of this as your database database manager And if you're an unreal engine user or a quixel mega scan subscriber access to a huge Realm of content on the back end as well. So uh, definitely an interesting release and again If you're an unreal engine developer all of this is completely free Just log in using your unreal credentials and you're good to go. So um, yeah, that is uh, Quixel Bridge 2020. So here you see the biggest new things again. So they've got, um, actually, I don't think they really broke down to what was new in this 2020 release. Uh, but if you are interested in grabbing it, I think this is the big thing, obviously, as they finally integrated that Unreal Engine to uh, the Mega Scan stuff. Um, but if you're interested in grabbing it, the homepage is available here. Uh, this is at quixel.com forward slash bridge. I will of course link that in the link article down below. Uh, this is a, an excellent tool. Again, even if you are not using the mega scan stuff and you're not using Unreal Engine, it is now completely free. So if you're just looking for like a database asset manager for moving between your game engines and your content creation tools and so on, that's perfectly what Bridge is all about. And then of course, if you are using the mega scan stuff, it's even better. All right, so that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.